What it do, my boy? It's your boy Wavy. Stay Wavy TV. I hope y'all staying Wavy out there. Let's get it, man. Let's talk about some NBA basketball dudes, man. So reports have come out today that the Brooklyn Nets and Kyrie Irving, they can't come to an agreement on an extension. And Kyrie Irving, um, you know, he has the choice to either opt into the final year of his contract and play his last year. Uh, with the Brooklyn Nets on that contract or he can opt out and become a free agent this summer and he could possibly sign with another team on a long-term deal three years and up right so a lot of rumors are coming out there obviously the Lakers want to get Kyrie because of Kyrie's history with LeBron James but also the uh the Los Angeles Clippers seem to be very interested in signing Kyrie and Obviously, the Clippers have more weapons to actually get the deal done. They can do a sign and trade. And they can give the Nets a player like, uh, obviously, uh, uh, Powell. Um, you got Reggie Jackson. Um, you got Kennard. You got a lot of weapons on the Clippers um, that they could possibly send to the Brooklyn Nets that will be uh, a better deal for them than the Lakers. The only player you can really trade Kyrie for from the Lakers is a guy like um, Anthony Davis or Russell Westbrook. And the only and the only reason why I think it's a possibility that Kyrie can go to the Lakers is because of Kevin Durant's history with Russell Westbrook. Kevin Durant is the best player we've ever seen team up with Russell Westbrook as far as like mixing together. They, they went to the finals together when they were very young and they know how to play together, even though they ended up, you know, separating um, in a bad way. Uh, Kevin Durant didn't even tell Russ he was leaving left a sour taste in Russ's mouth. But we know that these guys can play together. They went to the finals. Um, they almost beat the Golden State Warriors. Um, I think they were up like, what, 3-1 or 3-2, some shit like that. And KD just eventually decided to go to Golden State, and he went on to win two championships, you know what I'm saying? One finals MVP twice, you know what I'm saying? But um, I want to explain to you guys why Kyrie Irving should opt into the final year of his contract. The reason why I believe that Kyrie Irving should opt into the final year of his contract and play another season with Brooklyn, even though he's clashing with the, the manager of the Nets, Sean Marks, um, they don't have a good relationship. Sean Marks really wants nothing to do with Kyrie at this point. And I think he's made that very clear that he has absolutely no intention on signing Kyrie to a long-term contract. But I think that Kyrie owes it to not only the Brooklyn Nets franchise, but specifically Kevin Durant. Because the reason why Kevin Durant is on this team in the first place is because of Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving made it clear that he wanted to play with KD. KD originally wanted to play for the New York Knicks. And Kyrie was the one that said, nah, man, let's go to Brooklyn because, you know, Brooklyn is Kyrie's hometown. He said, nah, man, let's go to Brooklyn. Let's go to the Brooklyn Nets. And when you look at what happened last season, right, Kyrie missed a lot of games because he decided to not get vaccinated. He was only allowed to, first of all, at first, he wasn't playing at all. His team was like, you know what, if you're not going to participate full time, we don't want you to play at all, Right. But they ended up having so much injury problems and they had so many people that couldn't play because they kept testing positive for COVID that eventually Sean Marks is like, you know what, Kyrie, you can play, but you're only going to play away games. And then obviously towards the end of the season, he was cleared to play full time. Right. But he still can't play in certain certain places like Toronto. So when you look at that, right, I'm not blaming Kyrie for missing all of those games because you know he made a choice about his body he didn't want to inject himself with something that you know he didn't feel comfortable putting in his body i respect that 100 percent to anybody that chose to not get vaccinated i respect that 1000 percent um but when you look at Kyrie's history even before covid um caused all of the trouble Kyrie was missing games when you look at that first year with with him on brooklyn there was a point in the season where he just disappeared. He didn't tell nobody on his team. He didn't tell his coach. He didn't tell KD. He literally just disappeared and just decided to not show up for the team. And eventually he hit everybody up and was saying, oh, he's not playing due to personal reasons and shit like that. But what I'm saying is Kyrie has a history of 
not wanting to play basketball. And this is a guy that had a contract where he was getting paid multi-millions of dollars a year. And when you look at that, I just personally feel like when it comes to Kevin Durant, Steve Nash, who is a brand new coach in the NBA, you know what I'm saying? He's only coached two years now. I think he owes it to the team now that we know he's going to be cleared to play a full season. I think he should opt into the final year of his contract and, you know, try his best to win an NBA championship for the Brooklyn Nets. Because if he was to leave the team, that's going to leave a sour taste in Kevin Durant's mouth. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not like he's not going to get paid that much on, on his final year. I think his final year, he's going to get paid 30 something million dollars. And let's be honest, guys, there's not many teams out there that's willing to offer Kyrie a long term contract. When you look at his history, I honestly believe that, um, you know, what what other team out there is going to give Kyrie a multi million dollar contract, knowing that he's not vaccinated and knowing that he has a history of not showing up? I think him opting into that final year of his contract with the Nets, it's going to be his chance to prove to the NBA that he is 100% focused on basketball. He's one of the best point guards in the NBA. And I think that this is his chance to prove that him and Kevin Durant can be, you know, one of the best um, duos in the history of the league. They're most definitely probably the most skilled duo of all time on paper. But they haven't been able to prove it. And I think that him opting into the final year of this contract with the Nets, I think that'll be Kyrie's chance to prove that. Um, And let's look at it like this, right? Let's say he opts into the final year of his contract and the Brooklyn Nets go to the finals, whether they win or lose. If they can get to the finals, even the conference finals, and Kyrie can play every single game um, and not call off any games. You know, that's going to make the Brooklyn Nets want to offer him a long term contract. But, you know, because of his history, he has to prove that he's worth a a long term contract and he still has a chance to make things right with the Brooklyn Nets. You know what I'm saying? He owes it to KD. He owes it to the to the to the uh, the owner of the Brooklyn Nets paying him all that money when he missed so many games. He owes it to Steve Nash. And I think he owes it to his legacy, because at this point, let's be honest. Since Kyrie (laughs) has left the Cavaliers, his career has went downhill 100 percent. You know, when he joined the Boston Celtics, that was a failure. Um, And him joining the Brooklyn Nets for, you know, the two years that he's played with the Brooklyn Nets, it has been a failure. And for if, if he was to leave this team and let's say he goes back to the Lakers, he's only fueling that narrative that he never should have left LeBron and, you know, and LeBron is the reason why Kyrie has a ring and all of that. And those things may be true, right? But I just think at this point, man, Kyrie, him going to the Lakers to team up with LeBron, it just wouldn't look right. It it wouldn't look right. Let's keep it real. It it would not look right, bro. You know what I'm saying? If he was to play his final year, go to the finals, possibly win a championship, and then he decided to go to the Lakers next year, I think it would make more sense because at the end of the day, Russell Westbrook's contract would be up. So the Lakers would have money to sign Kyrie to a long term contract. And um, it would just be a better story for his legacy, man. So um, I think like with that being said, I think Kyrie should opt into the final year, try to win a chip for the Nets, man. And after that, he can make a long term decision on what he wants to do with his career, man. So let me let me know what y'all think about this video. It's your boy Wavy. Click that subscribe button, thumbs up the video, leave a comment. I'm out. Let's get it.